is Joel Strauss. I live at 34th Street Apple Lane in Winder, Georgia, but I am a second property owner. 515 Bulldog Drive. Um, there's been a lot of complaints about the smell, about the uh, looks of the water. There's been a lot of um, mud in it. There's been a lot of uh, bad smells in it and a lot of other stuff. So I have contacted uh, Mr. Derek Williams from EPA. Was that just recently? Because I'm, we He's been here before, okay. and, and, and I have uh, talked to him on the phone several times, and I have an, e uh, an email that I received from him on May 3rd, uh, I mean, actually May 7th, I emailed him on May 3rd asking him to come to this meeting, and he was not able to. And his response was um, that he was not able to come, and he said the water statement system is overseen by the a watershed protection branch, and I was asking about testing the water because people want their water tested, and uh, they a lot of them want it tested outside of the city of state. A lot of people don't really trust what the city of state is doing; they don't know the results. So I asked that, and he said that um, anybody that wants their water tested, he will come. All he has to do is. Um, EPA will come with their sterile containers and they will test for um, chlorine, iron, magnesium, pH, pressure, anything, including residue, um, such as feces or anything else that comes from the water. And um, I have it tested at the state lab. And um, all they have to do is call me personally and I'll have a phone number available to anyone that wants uh, a uh, sample. Collected and, and tested by the state water in, in the state of Wilmington. And they will come to that person's house personally and collect the sample right then and there and take it back to the state lab. And they will also, they're also willing to come and flush the lines here in Salem for discolor and filament or anything else that needs to be done to get the lines right. But uh, if they are available to for any homeowner here in Salem that is on city water that once they're water tested outside of the city, they're available. Okay. Thank you. So if they want do you have, well, do you have any questions for Oh, I like Jordan. I mean, to, to see if like, he can answer for you at this time. No, because I'm not on city water person. Okay. I mean, I'm just saying that if they want it, if the smell is bad, and it, I used to do testing. I did good. the BOD and COBs and that kind of stuff. And I would test them on the testing to check for. Um, uh, sewage and stuff in the, the water, so I know what it's all about. And we would take his, definitely take his credibility of that. Right. Uh, I mean, you know, we're not, like I said, we're not, like, we're not doing personal, but if he right. is called out, you know, and uh, I've dealt with EPD before, and I mean, they're very they thorough. Have, yeah, they, they do the same kind of lab work that I did at USDA, and um, they, um, and because I talked to them about procedures I did, he said exactly what we were doing. And uh, anybody that wants to do it, well, he said, I'll go door to door. If there's a 100, 200 families that want it done, we'll do it. I appreciate you. Thank you, George. Is anybody else? In light of uh, Joyce's statement, and to just generally uh, open up and state what the purpose uh, a mission statement of the committee for is, is for exactly what Joyce was talking about. It's if you have an issue with the water in your home or the quality of water at at your wherever you're receiving the city water, the city, we need to know about it. And we want to identify the problems if there are any problems um, that exist and fix it. It's like seek and destroy. It's like um, we want, we want to address these issues with the city and the city's water head on. And if, uh, if there aren't any, there aren't any. Sometimes the issue might exist, like for instance, one lady had an issue with the plumbing inside her home and she was going to discolor water um, and she had her home re-plumbed and all of a sudden the issue with the quality of her water came back up to a, to a standard. And that's that's generally the mission that we're on here, is find out if there are any issues, if there's any isolated in a certain community, um, we can find out, but we have to work together. And 
uh, I couldn't be more grateful um, for, for all of you taking time uh, out of your evening tonight to come here and to uh, show your support for our city and any issues that we might have. So, Yeah. Uh, come on. Sir, if you go speak, come to the mic. Give me name, Chris. All right, uh, sometimes go ahead do you go ahead do as I ask. Keep your name, your dress, and oh, what I've been the issues you want to speak on. On a problem in Circle. Uh, there are times where I find a water pressure in my house. Sometimes it's low, sometimes it's high. You know, I get good water flow at times, and sometimes I don't. And I don't know who to talk to about it. Or if it's my pressure relief, uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't know. Okay. Alice says the button. I mean, if you'd like us to, we can come up and check it for you, but we can't do it next time. So, that's called the point. There's certain times of the day you now where I get good pressure, but right. other times I don't. And I can see if that time is not function. That's what it'll do. The valve is? Yeah, it could be the pressure system. Like I said, if you would like us to, we what is your address for this? Yeah, it's a 557 12 circle. So basically, this is a perfect example of, of what we're trying to do. We're, we're trying to solve problems. And, and you can help us, and we can help you. How you can help us is you can ask your neighbor. You can ask your neighbor on both sides, you can ask your neighbor across the street. You can find out as much information from your neighbors about their water. Are they experiencing the same problems? It's this kind of information um, that we need as a community, you know, uh, and, and forces you to talk to your neighbor. You probably need to visit with your neighbors anyway. I do. I don't visit with my neighbors enough, but I'm just saying if your neighbor is experiencing the same problem, then we have might have a problem in Providence Circle that we did not know about before, before now. So I implore you to maybe get with your neighbors before Jordan comes out, and if you can provide us with um, you know any information on it before we get there, we'll be much appreciated. All right. Now, uh, well, the next thing on the agenda while well, I'm up here about the sewer system. Now, I'm not on the Hold it just a minute. Does anybody else have anything on water? Because that's going to be the next issue. I do. And then I'll let you come back. <laughs> oh, okay. I can do that. Okay. Well, let's, let's do I want to do, go down. I got a, I got a seat right in order. Oh, okay. Mike Jay 322 County. Now, <laughs> good quality water is a federal rules. So the next thing we got to worry about is fire protection. How are, how are our hydrants? And FPA 291 states that all hydrants should be tested annually for pressure and operation. And I've lived here 14 years, and I've never seen one hydrant tested. So, can I can you address you then? Can you address what you're saying? He can. Go ahead. And he's saying the top of the hydrant to browse the hydrant. They have been named. Yes. Those are the ones that have been flow tested and hydrant. Okay. So you should be catching pressure differentials, you know, before the gentleman that was up here before. So that's how you can diagnose if it's an issue with his house or is it an issue with our, our water pressure. Correct. Okay. All right, I can say one thing about after the first. Oh, just, uh, just, I'll give you, you'll give you a chance also when time comes in. Mr. Chester, finish. Uh, and then you can I'll get it. So, so with the pressure fluctuation, that, that's a good one. Okay. Uh, Yes, fire safety. Okay. Yeah, well, they did y'all just do some uh, some uh, the fire department y'all go yeah. through some tests uh, on this stuff? Yeah, well, that's part, that's couple weeks. Yeah, yeah. That was the plan. Okay. We had to do with the true flow with the diffuser, video gauge, the guy got residual, static yeah. residual, yeah. and all performed. Okay. Yeah. It just depends on what spot of town we're in. Some pressure drop lower than others, but right well, where that gentleman lives there is the pressure lower in the private circle. Not, no, not really. Okay. No. 
it, it's my understanding that the top of the hydrants are painted like orange, red, green, and blue, um, and blue for, for a different um, for a different rating. Like the orange ones put out so many psi, the blue ones put out so many. So we should generally be able to drive around and see in the perfect world the same color. But if they change, if they change. It may not necessarily indicate a problem. It might just be. That's well, a different size of magnet. Yeah. Different, exactly. Different, different size of right. magnet. Different, 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 different loops. Different loops. You're going to get more out of it. Right. 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 And, right. I mean, and you, that's a, a great question. I mean, you'll see all the time, full today, you run up to a fire hydrant, hook up, no water. That's right. I mean, or not enough pressure because they got luck, because they have to go so far. I mean, it's a, you know, and, uh, Actually, we just went to a class on it last week, <laughs> so we we got a little bit oh, we got a little bit understanding of not enough to answer a question for my background is fire protection. I do a lot of hydro testing, and if need be, I would like to volunteer my time to help. That'd be great. That's That'd be great. It's free. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I have my own equipment. Okay. Uh, you know, I use it to hydraulically calculate the fire sprinkler system. So I want to bring up another point about the, the talent, the talent that exists in our community that you never know about. We got Michael just told us that he breaks fire systems. I didn't know so he did that until just now. And he turned around and offered his um, his services back to the city. And who knows? I mean in, in a perfect world, this this is like the way that it should be in, uh, in our city. It's people giving freely of their time and, uh, you know, giving back and loving our community in any way they can. And I know there's a lot of talent in the room. Uh, there's board members. There's, you know, there's a lot of talent in the room that we, we need to tap into as, as a community. And, um, I just, I just appreciate what you, what you just said. Thank you. Ma'am, did you want to come up? Tammy, you can stay put. Honey. Okay, I'll hold on. Okay. 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 Thank you. Uh, I was, I know my goodness, tomorrow, so as long as you can hear me. The day after the EPA come to Statham, the very next day, they got on the phone and talked to a few people. Uh, the, they come around and flushed out the water hydrant where I live twice. And two different times was two different colors put on. What that means, I have no clue. But since he said that, I don't know if somebody's noticing any other uh, one was blue the first time they changed it, the second time it, stayed, it was orange, and now it stayed orange. I live at 2022 Rachel Drive. So I don't know if that, what that means. I don't know why it would have been painted blue, man, but orange is probably correct for that location. But we can, we can so we, 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 they, they came around twice that day. I, I don't know why. But, you know, me and my husband both disabled, we stay home. We, that's all we do is watch out the windows most of the day, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I saw what I saw. Okay. I, will, I will promise it, I mean, because I don't have control over our home over our employees, but he will get back out there. Yeah. And there again, Mr. Ginger, we might bring him and let him look, look at it also, see. My, you're welcome to come in my house. Anytime you need to come in, you're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, anybody else wants to speak on the water? God, come in. Well, I'm in the water. Like I said, we're going to be in the water. Hi, my name is Gail Steve. Uh, we're on Price Street. And I just wanted to say one thing. Um, I know that a lot of people complain about their water being bad and everything or discolored. And I have never had any discolored water at my house. Now, Betty knows this because when she was having a problem at one point in time, I brought some over to show, and that was at the same time. And I get the water out of the same water plant, you know. I, I do feel like that sometimes it may be I, the older pipes 
that are, and you and I have talked about this a lot, and uh, sometimes that's possible that it should be pipes in your house, or, you know, say there isn't over city, and it could be pipes in there. But I've never had any problem with my water other than when the algae bloom turns over and it'll have a little smell to that, and that's why, you know, we do have, had taken precautions uh, with that. And uh, that, and I haven't had any of that lately. So, anyway, I just wanted to say that, and I think you're doing a terrific job. Thank you. Thank you. If you want to be covered, come on up. Um, thank you. Now, the other day, my water was just covered. Uh, I'm in an older house. That happens to me, and I'm a new one. Well, I know it was my problem. Uh, I turned it on, hadn't been used to uh, speak it on in the backyard for almost a year. I got about 20 seconds in a five gallon bucket. Uh, the joke was I should bring it to stone. But in a, in a few minutes, it was clear because I mean, it's my pipe, and I know it. But <laughs> I'm just saying, uh, you know, we do have different things that, uh, that can cause an indefinite with pipe. My problem, and I am working on that. Go ahead. Here's my toilet water. Uh, my name is William Z. Jackson. I live at 1894 A. Lee with Down Road here in Salem. Uh, unfortunately, tonight we uh, didn't have several people that had, had water problems show up. Okay, they did not show up. Uh, we had had chlorine smell. I've talked to you about We had discovered water. And I have done some testing of my own. I did not test positive for chlorine or anything like this. Okay, what I want to know about is the pH balance of hard water and how it is destroying certain things like our hot water heaters and pipes and stuff like this. Okay, and also uh, I would like to understand what the pH is, the hard water, and get some type of comprehension from y'all as to you know how it affects us and this residue that we're getting from the water okay now <coughs> there was down the road okay and like i said uh, it goes all the way out to where uh kelly pickens park is or uh bridges park yeah. uh, actually it goes all the way out to, to, to well it's it does. Where, where i'm saying i tested that okay okay, oh, okay. directly across from Robert okay. and, uh, yeah. But uh, basically, I just want to get y'all to kind of share with uh, you know the little bit of the information there. Thank you. Thank you. Is it something you do tonight, or is it something you want to do later? Well, as far as the pH goes, <clears throat> when it leaves the plant with spring, it is anywhere between a six nine and a seven two. So. I don't see why you have many pH issues. Um, I don't know what film, you said film. What, you said film in the water? Uh, I, that I talked to you. You asked Before, me about this, 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 No, this is, this is a residue. Remember the pot I showed it at uh, the uh, city council meeting with residue from where the water pools? Yes. There's a residue being left and it is like I told you and uh, just like years before and showed you the pot to where my wife's pots to where she boils eggs, boils tea water, stuff like this is leaving a white stain set on pots and pans. Okay. There is there is a problem somewhere and that's what we're trying to do. That's the reason I said so. Tim, will you do we do us a favor? Yes. Sir. Can you can you get with some other people in your community, your neighbors, um, people? Well, they didn't they didn't anybody know? Yeah, they didn't yeah. yeah. You know, but, that's like Christine Wolf, one of you. Well, that's a good spot I had. She did not show up. The one that I give you the telephone number. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's what this means. Yeah, and, right. Right. Yeah, and uh, it's like I said, if you got a problem, we need people to show up yeah. and state that they have a problem. You know, I've had problems. Oh, okay. When the water goes down, goes completely off, and is cut back on, it should not take you a day of running water and have black sediment, the color of that microphone, to be oiled. You understand what I'm saying? To have to drain your wines to get that stuff back to a clear level. 
Now that's only, I haven't had this problem in a year or two because it's been that long since the board was completely shut down. I have CPB pipe coming all the way from the meter to the hot water heater all the way throughout the apartment. Okay? There should not be any of that. It's brand new hot water heater. It's, you know, they're old pipes, yes. But when you have a oily setup that is black, then it turns to brown. And then before it can be clear, you have to run it for hours. That's not acceptable. It's not like that now, though. Uh, no, no, well, uh, next time, the next time the water's cut off, y'all yeah. will be caught. Because that way you can see it happens. I didn't know what to do before, but I do now. Is anybody else want to speak on that, this issue we're on at this time? Come here, sir. I actually have a question. We're all here with the bond drive here in the state. We have two sources of water that the city processes. The, the springs over on this side and on the other side of 316 Lake. Is that, is each source treated at, at the springs that's treated before it leaves there or is it all pumped over to the water system and treated? No, each source has its treatment. Say again? Each source has its treatment. Okay, so the spring is treated at the springs yes. the house there. The lake is treated there. Okay. Yes. Great. I've never had a problem with water. Thank you. Anyone else at this time? If not, we'll proceed on on the overview of the city sewer system, mount and collection and review of the mounts. So, if you want to speak, where's the mic there? You don't have to. We don't have to. I've got the uh, sewer system on that. I've heard you all from everybody in the city of Stanford is going to be hooked up to the sewer system. I've asked Randy Gordon about it for quite a few years already. And he always said it's always a it's problem in circle is a problem. Because from 17 houses in the city limits. And it's almost impossible to get everybody hooked up on the sewer system. They are because they are in the county. Now, being hooked up to a sewer system, I look at it as a, uh, an investment and a big money saver for me because if something goes wrong with my septic, I'm screwed. Right. You know, that's the way it is. So I, I want to know what. That's what I have. Well, so I, I, we, I cannot have. We cannot answer that as a city right now. We cannot tell you that. We would love to have the whole area that we are all stable. But right now, we cannot, I cannot answer that. Robert Bridge is no one good until we get some money to we'll take. <coughs> so, Rob, Rob, you work for PayPal, that's all. What? Rob, you work for PayPal? Well, we didn't do that. <laughs> no, I mean, really, truly, I mean, your sewer system is a, is a factor down the road, and I hope, and we hope one day we can get some grants and get, uh, we, well, actually, we've got old ones before we'll put in new ones to be taken care of, we, because we've got some old sewer system needs working on, and uh, as soon as that, we get everything rocking and rolling and some grants coming in that will let us go back and do it, stuff like that. We're going to see if we can do it. I'm just saying, I'm just one person on the council. So that is, that is my goal, but it could be, uh, that's the future. Pretty well, it, in every department of the city government, why don't you just cut their budgets by 20%? You know how to Yeah. Well, we appreciate, we appreciate your math. Thank you on that. Okay. Is anybody else? Go ahead. I'll speak to you, Rudy. Rudy Krauss, 472 Whispering Oaks Drive. Okay. A couple things on the sewer system. One is, we've got a sewer system to implement in areas. What we need to figure out is, we know that it's a high price, reasonably high price, in order to attach it to the system. Okay. Unfortunately, both Bear County and City of State, we've chosen not to necessarily select 
high higher end homes to establish within our area. So with that, we've got to deal with the fact that we are dealing with people who want to attach to our system, our sewer system, of middle income, okay? Middle to lower middle income. When you take and put a $3,000 attachment fee to sewer, okay? That's not something somebody can come up with as an immediate process, okay? We have people that want to join the sewer system, but cannot because they're not financially in a position. So if we can come up with some type of an economic alternative where we say half up front, half in 90 days, half in six months, or set a price basis where these people can actually access the system. Uh, me, I live on the top of Sunset, actually on Whispering Oaks. I live on top of the hill. My flow has never been interrupted in my septic tank for 12 years. I'm not going to have a septic problem because my flow downhill is not, a, is not an issue. Okay? But on Sunset, we have some drainage issues. We have some water shed issues mm -hmm. that impact their septic tank that these people want to attach the sewer, sewer's in front of their house. But when you when you when you attach that kind of price to a fifty thousand dollar a year income, you put them in a position that their alternative is I can't do this. So if we can figure out a way as a part of the city to actually sell our sewer system, because that's what we need to do. In order to expand our system, we've got to sell the system that we have right now. Anybody, everybody agree with that? If we've got places to attach to the system, and we have pumping stations that are ready to pump, but yet nothing available to pump, we've invested in a, in a loss. So if we encourage these people to join the system, we create revenue that lets us expand our system. So what are you suggesting that we lower our tap fees? No. What I'm saying is not necessarily lower the tap fees, but give people an opportunity for an expanded uh, payment process. You know, you say, okay, we'll say, I'm just going to use a rough estimate. We'll say it's $3,000 to attach. Okay? If they come up with $1,500 up front and we, we take the remainder and put it out for three months, six months, or whatever, okay? Because what are we talking about? We're talking about digging a hole, popping a hole in a pipe, and stick the, stick the pipe in the sewer and pour concrete around it. Well, if it's PVC, you have a PVC attachment. In the old days, it was terracotta pipe. That's how my sewer, where I used to live, that's how it was attached. Man comes out, he digs a hole, he takes a hammer, he puts a hole in the pipe, shoves it in there, and pours concrete around it. That was the old method. Obviously, we have new attachment methods. But we still, still have some that for yes. state of food. Yes. And, and so what we need to do is we need to bring the people that are available into the fold. OK? Uh, I'm a member of the Regional Waste Management Committee for Bear County. I'm one of the representatives. Uh, I've been in this town for 25 years plus. OK? I've had many opportunities to move away. I love this community. I love what we represent here. Okay. If there's an opportunity or an available position on the committee, I would love to join the committee. Uh, I can bring something from, from the regional waste management that can possibly help us. If I'm committed to this town, my family is committed to this town. If we can help, we want to help. But I know one of the things we have to do as a city is we, as a city, both you as elected officials and the representatives that are, that are the workers here in the city, they are the customer servants of our community. And we must address ourselves as customer servants because if we don't, people will not move into this, that will not move into this community. And we cannot grow unless we have people join our community. Would you, would you be willing to um, put that on paper for us 
like what you're proposing. Like, sure. So, what I what I lost me a little bit. Years. I mean, yeah. I, I did, didn't completely follow you, but if you, if you would be willing to put that on paper sure. so we can look at it and investigate and uh, sure. check into what what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, and I understand you kind of said, uh, yeah. I mean, yeah. pretty much. Pretty much, when you go to when you go to buy a car, as you get older, as you become older, you buy a car. Okay, me, I don't want anything. But I know if I save half the money up front, there's not an issue in making the remainder of the payment. Yeah. 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 We do at this time let you pay half. Okay. Upfront, we give you six months. And, and I think what we and I think maybe what we need to do is because the the people that are in our in the community on Sunset are not aware they may not be aware of that. We don't advertise it. Okay. If you call and ask we will add it to the newsletter so and, and start from it. The builders usually just pay it all up front, right? Sure. Builders do. Yeah. But if it's existing homes where yeah. the sewer yeah. is the there, yeah. right now if I counted up we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Five, possibly six homes on Sunset Drive that have a vacant sewer pipe with pump extension. That's not accurate. They're on 70. They're on 70. Right. And, the, and the sewer pipe is available? Right. right. Well, it is. Right. Well, we're talking, we're talking about on Sunset as you're driving down on the right side. now, not on the left, on the, on the right side. Where the park? Well, yeah, on the side of the apartments are on. Yeah. That sewer pipe goes all the way down the hill and to the pumping station at the bottom. Yeah. So you've got four or five houses there. You could possibly pick up, uh, what's it say, Steve Melton in the house above it. So there's like six or seven extra yeah. houses that could be on sewer. Well, you'd have to run it back into that. Yes, yes. To add those two. Yeah. But those four or five that are there, that the pipe is already in place. We should actively be getting them into our system. <clears throat> it's income we're losing, which is income provided to the <coughs> process of the I think that in that particular yeah. situation, it's going to be left up to the homeowner. We can't force their hand. No. You know, we can, we can work provide them. And, you're, and I mean, in, yeah. in the future, I mean, you know, we won't expand our sure. uh, system. I mean, sure. so now, I mean, uh, there again, I'm like you about the home. Right. Um, we have, I wish we did have a different type of not like your home. We are, we are starting to have communities. Yes. And I do want to, in my opinion, you know, what, get the 400 We want to be able to have a cattle over here, but we right. should, have, should have had an extra deal. We want to have a We want to have a cross board. Economic cross Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, uh, <laughs> Anyone else on the topic we all met on speech? I have to be a five on now, so uh, I just want to check on one thing. Uh, we did a walk back in March uh, with the mayor that uh, you and you were supposed to be on. You were there. Okay. I'm going to address those before we. And the bad luck is the bill, you know, it's just full point. Have y'all checked that out? And, you know, what's going on with that? Because you, you bumped it out. It's completely down. Okay. It's groundwater getting in there. You know, I mean, it's going to stay like that because, you know, the, the process is. Yeah, like a chicken process, but not a chicken process, a frozen food with battery company. Okay, they use that, you know, when it comes to the bug and they pop a lot of stuff in there. No. And they don't, no, that's the full time that comes from the list, that's not the full time. Well, that's the full time. Well, then they say that the stuff fails. Okay. On that full time. Okay. So, I'm going to put it in there. Why not? Unless it's making it to the bone section, it's going to be on the side. I got a bad line there that was full. And it's basically just second. That's what it is. It's all that way sewer, but it's a fourth line. And it's, it's clear now.
no construction, there's no water in the course. Yeah, could if they did get that lock off, get down in there and drown. Because it was dangerous. Well, the handle itself locked by showing that. Yeah, I think the handle had a lock on it. It was right to the back. So, you know, that could have been, it, it could have been dangerous. Thank you. I like speaking on that issue. When you come up here, they do what I put my name. My name's from the next day, and I live in the most of the church in that one. The water bottle we're talking about, I'm the one brought it up to everybody's attention, put the lock on it. That ain't got nothing to do with the sewer. That's an eight inch back flow, and a three inch back flow was put in in 2000. Well, Jerry Lamps uh, back there with the fire pitch, which there you know, was um, putting up fire houses back there. Uh, the reason the vault's full, because the, the uh, tapping valve on Baker Street is still on, not cut off, it's on. And it runs down in front of the first house, down is a par paradise road back. Yeah, Pentecost. I come down the first, in front of the first house, go on proper line, go back here to the back houses, and that vault will sit in right there for backflow protection. I don't know if you uh, put so your you're saying that there's backflow preventers in that vault? Yes, sir. There's two of them. There's eight inch and three inch. Okay, I'll be glad to go out there and look at that. Um, That's not what we found, but I'll be glad to go back and look. What'd you find? I found gear driven gate valves. On the back row, on the no, no, no. Mm. I didn't well, know there was back row in there. Okay. But I didn't know this. You cut the valve off of Big Pink Street, that water cuts off to there. Okay. And I think that's what we'll do because if it's a, if it's a dead end line and that valve cuts the water off, we all know the spell of water creates create a parasite. It's, uh, makes you the water smell like rotten eggs. It gets discolored. It stay water just like in your house. It's, it's the, the green powder on the outside of the pipe. It's the same thing in big pipes. Every uh, subdivision is not being used and every day in line. It's not got enough water flow to uh, keep it flushed out and keep it keep it flowing, you know, for a pack. Uh, stay water creates the bad gates. Uh, no matter how good the water treatment plan is, we got that, we got maintenance issues, and we don't have a backflow program on all the meters, and you don't know that you knew. That's why Frank needs to be involved with this, because he's the only one that really knows all this. Uh, and I know for a fact, sewer manhole down there corn of that house that we looked at. It's not flow to top of the hill like this map like right here shows. It doesn't. Oh, the manhole's in at the bottom. It's just like a hump, uh, 75 feet below the ball toward Jerry Lamp's development. That corner got cornered the last house on the left. And then we walked by before we went to the bottom. You go to that green cover, and you go to that map and go to the next manhole, which is Uphill, um, 500 feet a foot, and to the right, to the uh, right of way right there, going toward the uh, uh, part, is it part drive or whatever. That first manhole, the corner of that manhole, and that first manhole on that right of way, supposed to connect. That's what that says. But the one on the right of way is pointed perpendicularly from the houses, and the other one is going parallel to the back of the house. So there's a missing manhole right there with the open. Each manhole, take a sign for the sewer, it's totally different. Totally different. In the the case, everybody knows that I've been saying that um, from that first manhole down at the corner from jail out spot um, development, it's hooked into the abandoned line. It was abandoned in 1992. And if it is going down, it's going to fail sooner or later. And what's going to happen? It fails. It's going to fail three months from now, or three years, or ten years. But when it does, the city of State will have to put in a pump station right there. 
you get to the top of the hill, a big pump station. We talking two hundred fifty to five hundred thousand dollars. I promise you, I know. And we, and all you got to do is that first corner mat pan hole, then blow the ball, and y'all can do it. If EPD die, put the die in that sewer manhole. Have Michael repair the other manhole. Walk it off. Just see if it goes in there. No sir. This is the first time you told me. I know that. I know that. We're glad to look at it. I know that. So thank you for addressing that. Uh, you know, I'm behind you and Mike. We need y'all. We need y'all. And you know, if you want, in my opinion, not to jump back in the water, if you want to take, see what's wrong with the water, take samples at, at the water treatment plant and right where it leaves the uh, water tower, take the sample at the um, well. You got to take a sample at East Backflow where the water's coming in from is it Oconee County, Bay County. You got to take all those little samples. If they all good, we need a backflow program. Uh, to take all these services going to these houses and going back into the main line. The Mrs. PH and get state water. That's where this code comes from. It's, it's no doubt in my mind it's good coming from the plant, good coming from the well. Got to have a backflow program. You know it is, not. and you don't know. We, 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 Michael don't know. We have one, and we need to we'll look into it. Um, since from the, um, do you know? Do you know how many houses that don't have backflows? As you know, you know. I want to use a single check on on the residential. Double check on the commercial. Yeah. You don't. But I don't know. No, I, know no, you don't know. No, I know you don't know. I know you don't. I cannot give you a number. I know, and I don't want a number. I just want to bring it to everybody's attention. We got a lot of work. We got polyvalent services that's failing inclusively. A lot of them was put in in 1992. I know for a fact I have put them in. They don't last for 15 years. That polyvalent it was uh, put in back then. That fellow right there probably knows that. After 15 years, it's failing. It's cracking. Pressure goes down, and, and infiltration from the sewers around the services. A little bit of sewer going in that service. They got to be changed. We got, you know, the same program that we got in Ashland. We've been doing rehab work up there for 30 years. Get rid of all this stuff. It's a lot of work ahead of us. But what I said about putting that dye in there, if I die off to the other manhole, we know it's going in that band line. And when it fails, I'm pretty sure it ain't been maintenance now like it was last year. That's what we still people from the city, I think ain't scared to go down anymore because I'm watching it. The roots are growing in, it's going to stop. It might stop this summer. Emergency, 250 or 500,000 dollars. There ain't nothing we can do. Put that dye in and see what happens. That's a fact. And you know what? That's all over town. It's all over town. I can't stop playing. We got, we got a lot ahead of us. What would the city do? You know what? These facts is out there. We got to get together and die. We got to have an as-built in this whole system to know what's there in the problems and do a schedule over 20 years. If not, all this money is going to catch up with us or we can't afford to even fix it. We need to be afford to fix it. Thank you, Tony. Anybody else has anything on that issue there? If not, we'll proceed on to number four, uh, overview of the city streets and roads. Um, if anybody has something to say, come on up. And... Go ahead. City's responsibility to the striking on the city streets. Because we've got quite a few, like most of Dooley Town, the white line's gone, a lot of the yellow line's gone, same thing on Railroad Street. A lot of it needs to be restriped. Is that city, the county, the state? Oh, uh, city. Uh, well, what's ours is city, then we do have county, and we do have state. Uh, 211, uh, actually, uh, with uh, where we direct, direct the traffic with the big trucks. That's considered, actually, Railroad Street is considered state 
because they're directing the traffic from 211 over here. But, but it is a, something we got to work on. As well, it's the city streets, the city streets. Right. And, uh, we got to work with all three okay. groups. And, uh, we got to get it done. You're exactly right. Uh, okay. Not that. Uh, I mean, going down Railroad Street, yes. Uh, a good dark night, rain, you see about six lines. Not and, even that many, I don't do it down. Right. Right. Uh, Thank you. But we are, that is something that we're addressing and uh, trying to make sure who's is who we get done. Right. You know, and that. it will be not, I can't tell a number, but it, it is being worked out. I mean, all right. Thank you. Anybody else on that issue? All right, let's move on to, this is something, capital improvements, plans, description, opening statements. Uh, what Tony just spoke on, yes. Uh, we got some issues we, you know, but there again, the monies, we got to figure out the cost factors, and there again, we're going to have to work on probably our old system before we start new systems. Uh, when we get some grant money, hopefully uh, in the near future, that's our goal. Uh, we hope to do that. But right now, uh, and you know, that's uh, capital improvements is out, you know, out there. We got to get it done. Um, Michelle, do you have anything to say on capital improvements? The capital improvement plan. It's actually a, a planning session. So this committee meeting is a very good idea to bring things to our attention. Capital improvement plan is a longer plan in the out years. Once we get all the audits settled and things of that nature, we'll be able to move forward with the capital improvement plan. When do you plan to have the audit done? Well, we are wrapping up FY15 um, and then moving over 16 and 17. Did you know, five 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 that five. Five. 15? 15 is done. Has it been published online or where? No, it has not. So 15, I, I haven't been in, in the state of long. 15 just gotten done? It's, right. it's, it's a whole other issue. I'm sorry, I'm not it's used a whole to living in uh, Mayberry, sorry. <laughs> I, I do live in another Mayberry now. Um, okay. Uh, and, and what... Uh, you say we talk about money and things that we've got to do before we ask for this and ask for that. Um, I still think no matter how many times we come up here and ask for sidewalks for these kids to walk on, it's not a waste of money. It is not at all. We can figure out a way to get it done, move some money around. Obviously, there was enough money to buy this house on the corner. I'm sorry, I'm not trying to be arrogant, you know, it, it, it's it's honest, I'm being honest. Did, did we not need other things before we built a house or got a house? Oh yeah, but your dad, you're, you're speaking to Dwight now. No, I'm not oh, speaking to you, I'm, I'm mainly looking at you. Okay, I'm going to go to Cassidy. you're in the middle. Right, you're right, and I'm sharing it, but uh, to answer that question, I was not involved at that time uh, when they bought the house and uh, what was it even? Uh, uh, right, okay, I understand that, but I, I'm just, I don't know, well then I guess nobody here and I could ask, right? Uh, one of my long-term goals and one of the things I campaigned on, oh, is this in public works I want? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, one, of, one of the things that I, I want is, is a sidewalk from 8th Street and Broad uh -huh. all the way um, to at least to Hammond and then turn left and that will encompass um, we have sidewalks going out Providence where, where the new